The People, the headlines, the issues impacting you and your family. This Week in Cincinnati on 9 on Your Side. Good morning and welcome to This Week in Cincinnati. I'm Kristen Hartman. On Tuesday, President Trump will deliver his State of the Union address to Congress. It was delayed for a week because of the government shutdown. The president is expected to cover a wide range of issues, including border security and the wall, the economy, and threats from abroad. Joining us to talk about all of that and more are Ohio Congressman Warren Davidson, who represents Butler County and people in five other counties as well. Also with us is Middletown Police Chief Rodney Muterspa, who will be the Congressman's guest at the State of the Union. I want to thank you both for being here. And first off, why did you want Chief Muterspa to come with you to the State of the Union? Well, I was honored to be able to uh -huh. uh, not only extend the invitation, but have him accept it because he's doing great things in Middletown. He's a real leader there, uh, and the communities come together to deal with, with challenges and opportunities. And uh, his office, he's really built a great team, is seen as a positive influence in the community and so much going on with uh, with policing mm -hmm. and the challenges they're up against today um, not only have they done a good job they've done a great job connecting with the community and the community's received it well okay let's talk about some of those challenges chief muter spa what are they you know the, the first one was what everybody was talking about a few years ago was the the opioid ep epidemic and they're still talking about and it. and they're still talking about it yeah. you know in, in middletown we've been fortunate to see a, a huge decrease over 50 percent um, in the last, uh, over the last year, and our part one crimes are down dramatically too. Mm -hmm. And a lot of just the work that our people do and us getting, thinking outside of the box, getting more involved with federal agencies, which has really helped us and building court diversion programs, heroin response team, different, different things we've never done before. Mm -hmm. And it's been successful for us. And we're pretty happy about it. Okay, and as you watch that, did that fuel your your selection as oh, your absolute. State of the Union partner Ab here? <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So I remember I was at a, at a uh, round table uh -huh. in Middletown and we put together groups from all around the community. Uh, the Middletown Police Department came in as part of that. But, you know, when you talk community response team, it's not just law enforcement there. You've got, you know, nonprofits, faith-based groups, all sorts of community organizations that have come together and it's really turned into a community building opportunity, uh, certainly a crisis, but the way they've handled it, mm -hmm. you know, 50% reduction means there's still a lot of problem, but uh, it, the, the trend is phenomenal. And, um, and they're, you know, doing a lot of other good things. So I don't want the, the attention to be, oh, these are the bad things going on in Middletown. The reality is the city is moving rapidly in the right direction. A lot of positive things there, growth and investment and opportunity. And um, the hope is that it can, in, you know, move from something that was bad mm -hmm. to building these uh, coalitions and turn into just energy that keeps positive momentum going for the whole city. Representative, you're in the circle of the hill, uh, but Chief Muterspa, you're not. So right. when you go to the State of the Union address, what are you specifically going to be listening for I, as a citizen? I just want to listen to both sides and hear what everybody has to say. I mm -hmm. mean, I, I think that this right now in our country, just being able to hear the president talk after what's been going on, and uh, just to hear what, what's when going on. When you say what's been going on, you mean with the government shutdown? Absolutely, the government mm -hmm. shutdown, what's going on with the talk of the wall and different things, and, and to hear the, our leaders, our country's leaders' perspectives, of, of hear it personally. Mm -hmm. I'm excited about that. You know, you hear it on TV and getting to know the congressman, you know, you hear it locally, but I want to hear everybody's, what they have to say in there, and just their reactions to each other. I think that's going to be very interesting. If you had the opportunity to have the ear of Speaker Pelosi or President Trump, what would you say to them? Get along. Try to, mm -hmm. try to make it work. I mean, it's, it's one of these things where everybody in this country wants to see us succeed. Mm -hmm. And I know that sounds like a cliche answer, but really just come together and try to make it work. Um, you know, I appreciate the president and his, his pro-law enforcement stance and what he's trying to do. Um, I just think both, both sides, if they would just try to make it work and get along a little bit better. What would you tell them about the opioid crisis? Just keep fighting and it's not over. The Congressman's right. I mean, there's things that we have to do better. But I mean, I think that uh, you, you can keep pouring money into it, money to it, but it's just building your communities to, to want to, um, to get rid of this problem. It takes people. Mm -hmm. Representative Davidson, uh, on the get along front, have you said that to them? Have well, you had the opportunity to say that to I, them? I can't say that I've had a, uh -huh. a private audience uh, on this topic with sure. either, but I have been on, uh, on calls that have included the president and, uh, and certainly spoken with a number of people from the administration. And you go back to December and I felt that uh, the president was right to insist that his mm -hmm. priorities are funded. Uh, he's insisted on that for a while and been, frankly, ignored on some of them. Mm -hmm. And finally, in December, it came to a head. I was personally an advocate for not shutting the government down, instead for doing a two-year CR, mm -hmm. uh, continuing resolution, which would say, 
under the Trump administration's current term or Nancy Pelosi's term as speaker, there wouldn't be a shutdown and let the fight be about what we're spending money on. But of course, I support uh, really what the president's position has been, which is a compromise position. You know, when he campaigned, he talked about, you know, this big wall that was 40 feet high, 40 feet wide, you know, but with a door. Uh, the reality is this position's shifted really to the border patrols. They've got 17 priority areas that they want to put physical barriers in, uh, or, and uh, this funds 10 of them. Some of them are new, some of them are replacements or uh, additions, but, uh, but it's, he's compromised down to 10, and the Democrats are still solid at no. Mm -hmm. So my hope is that this negotiation that's going on right now is authentic, and it can produce a result the president can sign. But in the absence of that, I think you will continue to to say I'm not going to sign any new spending unless we fund uh, this priority. Okay. Chief Muterspa, uh, lots of people when they watch something like the State of the Union might think this is so big it doesn't affect me. How does it affect you as a law enforcement leader? I think it affects all of us greatly. I, I had an mm -hmm. officer tell me just this week that when, when the congressman asked me to go that the officer felt like we all get to go. Hmm. And I think that's important to note and how much we appreciate it. Um, when he sees, when you have our, our elected officials and our leaders see what we're doing in Middletown and they make note of it and act on it, that's, that's immeasurable. Um, and, and I think it's a big thing for all of us. And um, I think it's one of these things that no matter what happens there at the State of the Union, um, we're excited to be there. We're excited that Middletown is going to be represented there. All right. Don't go away. Okay. We're going to be right back. We'll continue our conversation with Congressman Davidson and Police Chief Muterspa in just a moment.